When it comes to managing endpoint security, companies typically have two options, either prioritize endpoint security or prioritize end user satisfaction. In practice, prioritizing end users experience and efficiency means giving them complete admin rights on their endpoint, allowing them to run or install anything they may need to do their jobs. This is great for users as it means they can run any application or download new software without calling IT for help, empowering them to work quickly and independently. This is bad news for security, however, as giving users the highest privileges on their endpoints is exactly what cyber attackers look for to get into an IT system. End user privileges are a nightmare scenario for letting malware and cyber attacks into the network. On the other hand, prioritizing security means removing admin rights from all user accounts. This, of course, prevents the vast majority of endpoint focused attacks, but will impact user experience. Firstly, because some applications need privileges to work, like SAP, for example. And secondly, because blocking users from accessing the tools they need sends them running to help desk, slowing down their own productivity and overburdening the IT team with requests. Sometimes enough complaints result in IT giving the users back their admin rights, which brings us right back to where we started, a happy user and a vulnerable endpoint. In some cases, the IT department will propose an alternative solution, giving the user a separate dedicated account, but this leads us back to square one as well, as we'll see later on. Whatever the approach, the end solution is never good for both user productivity and for endpoint security. So how do you solve the issue of endpoint security? Fortunately, there is a solution to the productivity versus security conundrum. It is the principle of least privilege. The principle of least privilege, sometimes referred to as the principle of minimal privilege or least authority, asserts that one must only have access to the information and resources necessary for one's legitimate purpose. That is, any user, program, or process must only be granted access to the minimum resources necessary at any given time to carry out a task, no more, no less. But to implement this principle, the IT department needs a tailored, efficient solution that is powerful enough to apply the principle at a granular level, yet seamless in user experience so as not to impact the productivity of the company. Enter Wallex BestSafe and its new innovative approach to endpoint privilege management. Wallex BestSafe applies the principle of least privilege simply and without impacting user workflows. It empowers the IT team to easily manage and control endpoint security without negatively impacting productivity either their own or end users. How? For the IT department, there are just two simple steps. First, remove all users' admin rights from their endpoints, making them non-privileged users. Second, deploy the best safe agent on all endpoints. That's it. For users, nothing changes. They can work on their endpoints as they always have. They can run corporate applications that require privileges to function and can easily install programs. What has changed is that now they can do it without having administrator privileges. For endpoints, everything changes. Endpoints are now fully protected against any attack that needs elevated privileges to operate, like malware, ransomware, and other cryptoviruses. No application, process, or user, regardless of the user's privilege level, can enact an operation that the program is not authorized for. How does BestSafe deliver seamless and powerful endpoint security? It all rests on the unique BestSafe technology. Let's take a standard Windows process to illustrate. An application calls a Windows API, which in turn calls the system kernel. The BestSafe agent operates at the application process level. It intercepts processes before they call the API and quickly runs an analysis to determine what operation the process is trying to carry out, from which process it was launched, and what APIs it plans to call. Then it applies a specific set of security rules to establish what happens next. If the process is legitimate, BestSafe allows it to continue its execution and make its API calls. If it appears to be dangerous or potentially malicious, then BestSafe blocks the process before it runs and prevents it from executing any API calls. Additionally, with BestSafe, you can even pause and monitor a process if, for example, the behavior seems suspicious but remains unclear. In this case, BestSafe will record multiple configurable parameters, like network parameters, access to different registers, etc., while the process is suspended until action is taken by the IT team. So what sets BestSafe apart from other endpoint solutions? While well, BestSafe has several unique differentiators compared to traditional solutions, which make it a more powerful, more tailored solution, which we'll explore through three common use cases. Let's take the example of applications which need elevated privileges to run, like SAP, and we'll call our endpoint user Susan. 
The IT team has put the principle of lease privilege into action and removed all administrative rights from Susan's endpoint, making it impossible for her to run SAP from her regular user account. Now, normally, the easy solution for IT is to give Susan a second account with privileges to use when she needs to work on SAP. Susan now has two accounts, which means two working environments and added complexity for the IT team. And this complexity increases exponentially with the number of applications and users across the organization. With BestSafe, IT no longer needs to create unwieldy second identities. They simply need to define a security policy for SAP, which can elevate the privileges of the application, not the user, as needed. Susan and all her fellow SAP users are thus able to use the program without a hitch in productivity and without exposing the endpoint to unnecessary elevated privileges. On the endpoint, no application other than SAP is impacted and no user is granted admin rights. The endpoint is protected without any disruption to the user. Next, let's look at a use case where BestSafe differs significantly from traditional solutions, offering granular control over application execution. With traditional approaches, control is strictly black or white. IT can either allow or prohibit an application from running on an endpoint. But what about the gray area? What happens when black and white rules are too rigid for teams to work efficiently? BestSafe offers additional control options, such as preventing certain applications from running for some users, but not for others, preventing all applications from running except those on an authorized list specific to that endpoint, preventing all or some applications from accessing specific local or network directories, and ensuring that applications can run, but never giving them privileges, even when the user launching them has elevated privileges. This last feature enables organizations to protect endpoints from malware, even while allowing admin rights for certain users. This next use case takes granular endpoint protection to new levels. BestSafe enables full control over API calls made by each application and determines whether they are authorized or not. This functionality is particularly useful for protecting web browsers against malware, which can otherwise force the browser to make encryption API calls to encrypt a hard disk, for example. BestSafe can be configured to allow the web browser to run normally, except when it calls a Windows encryption API, in which case the browser may run, but the API call is stopped in its tracks. This enables IT to safely allow users to continue using their web browser while keeping endpoints secure from dangerous attacks. The IT team can also control the number of encryption operations that take place on an endpoint, as well as the frequency, the files and directories on which they're permitted, and so on. And when one too many encryption operations has been attempted, BestSafe can end the process attempting to execute them. And finally, in the event that somehow, despite all the protections in place, a ransomware succeeds in encrypting a file, BestSafe will store the decryption keys. Ultimately, BestSafe offers full control over application execution, leaving both users and IT teams happy with easy and efficient work and in-depth endpoint security. With this innovative approach to endpoint privilege management, IT teams no longer have to choose between security and user productivity. With BestSafe, both are possible, with a solution that enables robust endpoint protection via fine-grained control over application-level privileges. Thanks for joining me in this presentation of Endpoint Security. If you have any questions about EPM or Wallex BestSafe, you can find us at www.wallex.com or email info at wallex.com.